Hi and welcome to the Market Alert for Monday the 24th of October 2022. So on Friday, Fed speak and uh, yen intervention. That was uh, the Bank of Japan supporting the yen, spot buying panic in bond stocks and gold. A smidge of uh, marginal dovishness from the Fed, so a hint that they were going to pivot. And a bazooka of pointlessness uh, and intervention by the Bank of Japan. Fed pivot signal yen intervention lifts risk and hits dollar. Uh, Fed said to reduce hike increment from December. FOMC, that's what I've said in the market alert. So it would be January before you saw any uh, relenting of increase in rates in the US, or well, the pivot would be around that time. Japan intervenes uh, yen, hits uh, new lows. And yeah, it just continues, doesn't it? Uh, Darley says Fed interventions are not QE, really. It's a bit like the Bank of England with its 65 billion, isn't it? And talking of uh, Fed and QE, Fed quietly uh, sends record 11 billion to Switzerland as dollar funding shockwave crushes uh, central central banks. Not hearing this in the mainstream, are we? Market stops panicking when central banks start panicking. So there's something going on behind the scenes. I have no idea what it is, but uh, there are these subtle hints here. We had six and a half billion the other week that were sent, and now 11 billion, unless. Um, it's, a, it's a total of the amount that they've actually sent. But uh, either way, 11 billion is a lot to uh, support a bank. So something's going on behind uh, the scenes. But uh, there we go. Let's have a look at uh, economic news for today. Well, it's flash day today. It's normally uh, a Friday. Uh, the only other thing is Yellen's going to be speaking at uh, 4 p.m. there. Otherwise, you've got to contend with uh, all of the release of the flash news. Nothing major for the week uh, that I can see of at the moment. It may come to light during each individual day, but at the moment I don't see anything there worth uh, screaming about, uh, shouting about. No non-farm payrolls, no CPI. We've had those for the month of October, so it's just a matter of... Uh, and see what uh, unfolds on a day-to-day -day basis. Of course, in the UK, it looks like Sunak is going to be Prime Minister by the end of the day. That's going to lift the pound and uh, have pressure on the dollar. But other than that, not a lot. Gold-silver ratio moving to the downside, uh, as you can see there, uh, which is good news. That means that silver is moving higher faster than gold. So let's get on with it and have a look at uh, Friday's session and what's happening on the overnight. We'll kick off with uh, the Dow Jones. So in the Dow on Friday, you can see a massive move to the upside on this uh, Fed talk of pivoting and also the Bank of Japan intervening to support the yen. Massive uh, 1,058 point uh, move in the Dow there and uh, up on the overnight, but coming off the high on the overnight. So let's look at that in a bit more detail. Friday, you just see the market uh, career to the upside, uh, no red bars whatsoever, just any excuse to move the market higher. At the moment, we're sitting on Friday's high as well. That's become support. Expect the market to continue to the upside, and I'll show you why in just a moment. As uh, we see a bit of a, a retracement there, we're oversold in the 30 minute as well, so we uh, expect a not move in this market. And let's have a look at the DAX, and I'll show you why I believe the market's going to move higher. And in the German DAX, uh, we can see that we've got uh, a gap up on the open bar for uh, the overnight. But Friday, the market's also moving higher. Stuck at the 62 at the moment. We tried to jump over it overnight, but uh, failed and came back. In the 30-minute chart, the gap has now been filled. And once the gap is filled and we can sit on the high, the market's free to move back to the upside as well. We've only got that uh, flash news. Uh, otherwise, the market uh, free to uh, continue its move to the upside. Uh, if I can just find the daily chart again. There we go. So what we've got to do is take out uh, the high to the left here. Uh, which is uh, 12,935. It loves that 13,000 in the in the deck. So 13,000 is where this market uh, wants to go to. In the five minute chart uh, for Friday, you can see that uh, the futures market uh, was sideways to higher. You can see the high there and then moved up in the cash market to the DP, closed back below the 
200 MA and then we had the sell off the market trading sideways until the Dow opened and then we just never stopped moving all the way through the final part of the session and then on into uh, the evening as well where we see the market uh, gapping higher by 100 points it's a 100 point gap overnight markets come back and filled the gap and now it's trying to get back above Friday's uh, high there which uh, you can see is doing a pretty good job of attempting to do this as well we're just in that uh, range once you get through this we can head up to that 13,000 level that the market uh, will want to get to 13,000 for the DAX is a very important level and uh, finally for the trades uh, profits for the week uh, there you can see 84875 401 on the profit factor and we had uh, 6330 seven whatever it is uh, for uh, the win loss uh, ratio so a good week all in all considering i was down on the uh, the week uh, on tuesday of last week but good recovery ending the week uh, well and like i say this week should be a good week uh, as well fingers crossed in the s p similar to the dow we traded up uh, towards uh, let's have a look here let's just grab some fibs uh, yeah we threw uh, 89 we went through on the overnight but that 50 ema is in the way bit of weakness there overnight uh, but once that's sorted and the high becomes the support then uh, the market will be free to uh, move off that high. It's very important the market stays above the high. That's going to be the determining factor this morning when the market opens, needs to stay above the high. It's looking bullish, but a failure to hold against the high and above the high will um, see prices move low. But again, Thursday, uh, Friday, we see the market uh, moving sharply to the upside there. FTSE also uh, similar to the DAX gapping higher in the 89% uh, area filled the gap the markets now free to uh, move to the upside as well we were down all morning on the FTSE on Friday then the US hinted at uh, pivoting in January I mean that's great isn't it you know January you know three months away and we move the market up a thousand points in the down uh, you can't make it up can you Anyway, the FTSE shown a bit of weakness at the moment. It's below the high, but uh, like I say, as soon as Wishy Washy is elected as Prime Minister, that will boost uh, the pound and the FTSE 100. In the currencies, uh, GBP, JPY, obviously uh, bullish overnight, waiting for the announcement of uh, Wishy Washy. And uh, you can see there the pound, sorry, the yen down on Friday. Uh, down to the S3 99% of the time the market will hold at this level it does and then it came back overnight has been a bit of volatility and it's now making its way back uh, Johnson has withdrawn from the leadership election uh, leave or paving the way for uh, Sunak to uh, be elected so again it's bullish for both the uh, GBP JPY and uh, the GBP as well which you can see is up there at the moment at the 89% and 50 EMA. Whether that uh, is enough to bring stability to the pound, who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. In the 30 minute pound, again, you can see this moving higher on uh, Friday after the Fed pivot news, rumor, call it what you will. Uh, and at the moment, currently above the high as well. And finally, in the metals, uh, we see uh, the silver market bouncing off the 89% retracement on Friday, a big move and overnight already a bit of volatility there but uh, to the downside which you can see so friday again that fed pivot it's amazing isn't it as soon as uh, they do get to that point uh, the metals markets are going to explode uh, as can be seen if that's what it does with a hint then it'll be interesting to see what happens uh, once they uh, do pivot and they start to reduce rates because then it's going to screw the dollar isn't it so yeah back above the high or trying to get back above the high in the silver market gold market uh, we spoke on friday of uh, this area here being uh, very important that 1614 level uh, per ounce uh, market coming off that uh, during friday again with the fed pivot you can see it there coming off the lows and uh, moving to the upside there it needs to stay above the high again depends whether it's got any support today with further rumors of uh, fed pivots a uh, dollar crushed on friday with the uh, talk of the uh, fed pivot and uh, you'll see that and you'll see uh, the markets uh, being crushed there in uh, the us dollar 
as prices move lower. Again, on a rumour or a hint. Uh, incredible, isn't it? Okay, Art uh, will do for this one. Let's see what uh, the flash news does to the markets. But otherwise, as long as the market can stay above Friday's high, it can move higher. Watch the 13,000 in the DAX. If it does move higher, major resistance and a, an impressive target for uh, the DAX as well. So uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.